What is up, everybody? We are here with New Japan Wrestling Superstar, Bullet Club member. You can catch him on Twitch at Crown Jewel BC. Chase Owens, how you doing today, sir? Hey, what's going on, man? Thanks for having me. How is uh, everything going on with you and uh, the COVID life and, and quarantine and all that kind of stuff? Uh, it's good. It's, it fits right into my lifestyle. I'm just sitting here and playing some video games. How is the, uh, I believe it's newly found, but how is the, the Twitch channel going and how are you enjoying that? Uh, you know, it seems to be picking up pretty good. Um, you know, I made it, I don't know, a year or two ago and didn't really have any of the right equipment, so I kind of quit doing it. But last week, I've, you know, I picked up and, you know, bought some stuff, bought a laptop, bought a mic, bought a webcam. So, you know, hopefully that picks up soon. <laughs> and our, if you're in WWE, you wouldn't be, you have to give all them all your money and stuff. Yeah, that's, that's no crazy. good. <laughs> all right, we'll hop into this. We will, uh, we'll say hi to Michael Oliver. What's up? Hey, Chase, how you doing? Thanks, thanks for doing this with us. What's up, Mike? Hey, what, what inspired you to get into wrestling? Uh, you know, just as a kid, uh, my parents were always watching. And, uh, you know, so I've just been watching it ever since a kid. And, you know, and obviously you know, as a kid, as most kids, I would say, uh, guys like Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, you know, that just seeing them, you know, that that made me say that's what I want to do when I when I grow up. Oh, cool. Just started watching New Japan. This, uh, this I just um, just started watching New Japan this year, and I'll tell you what, it's, it's my favorite pro, uh, promotion in the world right now. I mean, it's some awesome wrestling. It's the best wrestling in the world. Yes, it is. What was it like wrestling against like Dushin Lager and all them the, the, the Japanese style wrestling? Oh, you know, it was it was nerve wracking. Um, here I was, what was that twenty four? I think at the time, and you know, here I am wrestling. Um, you know, basically, legend in Japan, uh, you Jushin Thunder Liger, uh, you know, world, world renowned, and you know, known all over. And you know, just as I think it was my second trip, uh, it just you know, the nerves. That was the first time that I'd been that nervous in a very long time. Well, I'm a big Bullet Club fan, so I hope you guys continue oh, yeah, to dominate, me, <laughs> <laughs> baby. So. Thanks for having come on. I'll let somebody else come on and help on that. Right, questions. appreciate it. Thanks for the question. Thank you. We will uh, go say hi to Hector. Hey, Chase. How you doing? Thank you for taking the time. What's up, Hector? I just wanted to ask, um, what do you think is the longevity of the Bullet Club? Because there's been like so many forums and so many people coming in and out. What do you think? It, what do you think it is about the Bullet Club that it just keeps on going and it never stops? I just think it's, you know, the ability of everybody in the group to adapt to whoever comes in. And, uh, you know, I, I said in a podcast a few days ago that I feel this group, you know, we haven't we haven't hung around evil. Uh, and then it's because we haven't been over there due to COVID. But, you know, the group before the pandemic, I felt the strongest group um, of the three eras that I've been three eras. Uh, you know, so the three different versions of Bullet Club, I definitely feel that this is the strongest. And that's just because, like I said, we're all able to adapt. We're all able to know what each other's thinking. And that comes from just, you know, spending time together and dinner and, and hanging out. Yeah, I think it's great. And um, what would you say to the American fans that don't uh, really follow on New Japan? Because I follow it here and there. Uh, what would you say to the fans, and um, what do you think they're missing? Oh, they're missing the best wrestling in the world. Um, you know, I myself, I admit that I didn't get into New Japan until maybe a year or so before uh, that I actually started going. Um, I went to my buddy's house, and he had it on, and I was, you know, man, what is this? And then I kept thinking, like, how cool it would be to be to wrestle in New Japan Pro Wrestling. And then, you know, a little less than a year later, there I am. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Stay safe. Thank and you, uh, I'll give someone else a turn. Thanks, Hector. Uh, Mr. Owens, what would you say? Two part question. What would you say uh, is the hardest part about being a foreigner wrestling in Japan? And what was the biggest surprise when you first went over there to wrestle? You know, the hardest part, I think, is just learning that that style because it is a a different uh, form. And, you know, and it's it's a lot more hard hitting, uh, 
you know so it's just a different style being able to adapt to to all the different you know the, the eight man tags the the singles the, t the 20 count on the outside for a count out you know i mean just just little rules are changing um and you know so that's part one what was the second question uh what was your biggest surprise when you first went over there uh how how well the the fans are educated um you know because like my first trip i went over there and you know arriving to the hotel you know here it is my first trip to japan and tons of people were at the hotel waiting and just wanting autographs and they knew you know the history of of my career so you know they take it seriously they they study it and you know when people are announced uh they know who you are before you ever even come over that's awesome uh we'll go to uh out to the uk and say hi to riggy hey up guys how's it going oh what's up riggy? you outside <laughs> yeah i'm just walking in from work right now so if you hear any uh shouting it's just because all the bars have closed in the UK at 10 p.m. because of Corona curfew. Um, so my first question for you is, obviously, you're in Bullet Club. Everybody knows that. Um, how does it feel to be in such a prestigious faction after seeing so many legends and other big names be in the faction before you? Oh, yeah. You know, that's, when I got the call, um, you know, it happened because of uh, Doc Gallows, me and him became pretty close, um, you know, on the Indies. Um, so, you know, he hit me up and, you know, basically said they need somebody for Kenny to tag with Junior Tag League, uh, you know, and then at the time there's guys like Kenny Omega, the Young Bucks, Carl Anderson, AJ was was the front man at the time, you know, Tama Tonga, you know, just the group of guys that were there you know it definitely put a lot of pressure um to come in and uh you know to to be the young guy and and like i said earlier just the starting out in japan is nerve-wracking enough you know but then to be part of this group that took the world by storm and you know it just blew up was uh you know definitely had butterflies in my stomach yeah definitely um so second question is is there anybody out of every single member that has ever been in bullet club you'd love to wrestle that you haven't already wrestled uh, you know before i joined bullet club I, I had a singles match with aj styles in kingsport tennessee um you know and that as a as a kid getting into the business aj was the guy that i watched and who i you know who i wanted to wrestle and it took nine nine years i think but when it finally happened that's you know that's who i um, that was the dream match that I wanted, you know, but as far as guys that have been in Bullet Club, uh, you know, I mean, definitely got, you know, you want to have a singles match with, with Kenny Omega. Uh, you know, you, you want to have matches with guys like Tama Tonga, you know, cause those are the guys that are, um, that have been there and, you know, Tama's right from the start, you know, yeah, the thing about Tama is he's, you never know what he's going to do. Um, you know, and Jay White, you know, he's one of the best in the world right now. That's not the best. You know, just being able to pick ways, pick up ways to, to win no matter what, you know, and that's what it takes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Cheers, sweet time. I'm going to go home now. All right. See you, man. <laughs> Take care. See you later, guys. Later. Uh, so, Mr. Owens, I'm going to play a little cut scene, and then I'm going to hop off the, off the screen, and our little buddy uh, Steven's going to come on and ask you a couple questions. All right. Hey, thank you so much for doing this. You make a lot. What's thank up? you so much. I'm just going to get straight into this so people can get a chance. What does it mean to be a part of a bullet club? Uh, you know, as I said a minute ago, it's just, just real special. You know, those guys that were in bullet club before, and, you know, that's probably the most known faction. You know, it's been going on five years now. So, you know, to be able to be a part of that group, um, you know, it's a pretty daggone cold feeling and, you know, and 
it's definitely special. Okay, that's great. And what would you rather be a tag team competitor or singles competitor? Definitely a tag team. Mostly eight man tag because you don't have to do all the work, man. You know, singles you got to be out there and it's it's all on you. Uh, you know, if you're tag <laughs> matches, six mans, eight mans, uh, you know, you have other guys to rely on, and uh, you know, and you don't have to put as much uh, wear and tear on your body. Okay. That Great makes question. Sense. What what would be your dream type match and, and your dream competitor and why? Uh, you know, growing up in the business, like I said a minute ago, it was was AJ Styles and I got that match. But you know now, um, being in New Japan and a match that I've never had, uh, I would have to go with a singles match with Hiroshi Tanahashi just because of his legendary status and, you know, and, and that's something that you pick up a big win over him and, you know, your career skyrockets. What time? What type? What type? Uh, just the singles, man. Uh, you know, that's, that's my forte. I don't like any of the, uh, you know, no holds or, or cage matches or, or anything like that. So just a good old fashioned one on one singles Darn match it. with the ace. Darn it. What match do you want me to have? Um I think it would be a barbed wire match. Barbed wire match? You're, you're part of the bullet club. Yeah. That's I've seen some great matches from them. That's too dangerous, man. Try I've to get me hurt. Do it. <laughs> I see my friends do it live. Who? Who's your friends? Shannon Decker, Jimmy Havoc. Well, well they're crazy. <laughs> Definitely crazy. <laughs> and how does how does re wrestling different in Japan to North America? Uh, yeah, it's more strong style, hard hitting, and um, you know, and and great technical wrestling, uh, you know, again, for American fans or foreign fans that don't know much about New Japan, you know, you definitely need to watch, especially right now, G1 Climax, uh, you know, and that's always the best wrestlers in the world and the most prestigious tournament. So if you want to see some real good action, New Japan Pro Wrestling G1 Climax is where it's at. Awesome. Like Thank you one more time. Too sweet. Thank you, Steven. Uh, Chase, I got a, a different kind of question for you. We'll go up the video game thing since you're, can, you're all. Can you up his question? Because he had some really good questions. Pardon? Said, so can you up his questions? Because he his questions were, were he, really good. He always comes with the, the hard hitting Man. questions. Always. Man. <laughs> He's on uh, all of our uh, our streams. He's a, a nice little guy. I was uh, not expecting that. <laughs> um, what would you? What is your favorite part about like, or what is your favorite Japanese video game, and what's your favorite American video game? I'm not really into Japanese games. So oh no! That's, yeah, and obviously, if anybody's followed my Twitch, uh, the, my favorite game right now is definitely Players Unknown Battleground. That's what I play the most. Uh, but I'm, I'm big into sports, uh, you know, big into the hockey, the Maddens, even though I've seen some mixed reviews on Maddens this Madden this <laughs> year. So I don't know exactly if I'm going to get it, but. It's not their worst you know. one, but definitely not their finest. Their so, finest Madden, that's so, for sure. so we'll see. But definitely PUBG's. Well, that's my go-to right now. Awesome. We will uh, We'll say hi to uh, Adam. Uh, hi, Jace. I am a bit What's up, back man? to you, but I hope my question will be interesting for you. First question is Do you think AW will ever be more popular than WWE? AW is what? It's kind of cut now. I think he said, uh, Would AW be more profitable than WWE? Uh, you know, popular. I think it's definitely possible. Um, you know, and that's what the rest of the world needs. We don't need this one group that's just monopolizing everything. So, you know, the more competition, uh, the more jobs it has for the boys more places for the boys to wrestle um and make money but you know aew's got a real good 
good thing going and you know and with tony Khan backing it you know you, you never know but uh a few years down the road it could definitely maybe even pass the wb okay my next question is is your favorite wrestler from the bullet club my favorite what uh wrestler from the bullet club favorite <laughs> Yes, I'd, I'd, I'd have to go to AJ Styles. Uh, you know, like I said, growing up, that's who I was watching. That's who I wanted to be like. Um, you know, and that's that's kind of the person that got me into the style of wrestling that uh, you know that that I do, minus a little bit of the high flying that he used to do. I don't leave my feet. Oh, and now we lost them. <laughs> um. All right, before we hop into the last couple ones, we usually do a, a little name association. So if I just throw you a name and you just give me like a one one word answer or like a one sentence answer. And, and these ones are all easy for the most part, I believe anyway. Uh, first one is Cody Rhodes. Great mind, you know, great mind for the business. And obviously, we, you know, coming from that Rhodes family. Uh, Tama Tonga. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to think of the, the word because you know he's he's not the most technical guy, but man, can he do some you know some crazy things? And you know, like I said earlier, he's just you you never know what he's going to get, you know, and that makes it kind of hard to prepare for him. Uh, Kenny Omega, one of the greatest in, you know in the business. Jay White, probably the best heel in the business right now. And the last one, I will go randomly with uh, Kevin Kelly. We got to bring Kevin Kelly up. Why are you speaking <laughs> of that? Why are you having him on the show later? No. Uh, <laughs> you know, Kevin Kelly's the greatest commentator. Um, you know, he's a great friend of mine, actually, even though we bash on each other a little bit. But, you know, as far as commentating, he's absolutely the best. Awesome. Uh, we got a couple more for you. Uh, we'll go to Matea. You're muted, buddy. There you go. What's up, Matea? I love the bullet web. Oh, I appreciate it, man. We love our fans. And, uh, so, uh, are you uh, come back in WWE? What about WWE? In a more future. But see, you got to be louder, buddy. Do I want to go to WWE? Is that what you're asking? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm, happy. I'm, I'm happy in New Japan Pro Wrestling, and I hope as long as they're willing, I hope that's, you know, where I can stay for a long time and, and finish my career out at. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thanks, Matea. And our last one for the night, we will say hi to Dan Smith out in the UK. You're right there, Jacob. You're right there, Charles. What's up, Dan? I'm all good. How are you? I'm all right. Tired. Too sweet. Um, my two questions are, Charles. What has been your best highlight in your career, and what has been your best achievement? Uh, yeah. There's two for, you know, the best highlight is my matches against uh, Davey Richards, which I think was the match that really uh, put me on the map and, and, you know, and got people's people's eyes on me. And then, you know, my dream match that I was able to have um, with AJ Styles. Oh, he's good. Yeah, yeah. What was the um, second question? What was, what was your biggest achievement <laughs> in your career? Uh, Probably winning the NWA World Junior Heavyweight title for three times and, you know, I'm getting, I think I broke into the top five maybe on days held. So, oh, you know, wow. That, that, so that's a great achievement. And what was, what's the um, worst injury you had in your career? Uh, when I was about a year and a half, maybe two years. Luckily, I haven't had any injuries or major injuries. I'd say I've been hurt, but. Never anything that's put me out of action. But when I was about two years, two years in, maybe I uh, took a knee to the mouth and actually, uh, you know, lost a tooth and had to go through emergency surgery that night. 
to uh oh my to, god to almost pull my jaw back into place so you know i missed a oh couple months god. on that but other than that i've been pretty lucky knock on wood uh you wow. know, haven't, had, haven't had any any serious injuries besides that one have you ever wrestled in the uk as well uh, we did. I came to London with New Japan last year for New Japan's, uh, what was it called? I can't even think of what it's called. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, that was last summer. So, you know. It's oh, wicked. Be- beautiful country. Thank you. It, it's not that bad. Cheers, Jacob. Cheers, Chad. Too sweet. Yeah, too sweet, me. Cheers, uh, mate. Chase, we have one more actually for you. He rushed home. We're going to say hi to uh, Genghis. Hey guys, how you doing? What's up, Genghis? Hey. Well, my question is a little different here. Hopefully nobody's asking this. Um, what is your favorite favorite paraphernalia you ever got in being a wrestler? Like is there something that you cherish the most? Like I know some guys put have like shirts or autographed pictures of their friends or whatever like that. Uh, that's something that I wish I would have done more of is getting pictures with friends and then having them sign the pictures but uh you know i do have a a couple of magazines from japan uh that you know have a little bit of article um you know like when i beat juice robinson in the new japan cup last year i think it was and then went on to face it for the the u.s title uh you know so definitely have those magazines but but have some pictures as well you know with people signed but i really wish i'd have done that more throughout my career yeah okay yeah that's that's um that's what all those fans right here trying to do is get a little piece of something that we remember whether for some like a a big show like at the tokyo dome or wrestlemania or anything like that just something we can cherish the rest of our lives about yeah man you know you, you got to take advantage because you know as we've been finding out you never know what's going to happen you never know who's who's going to be here tomorrow yeah that's true all right thanks guys appreciate it and uh, nice you guys have a good day. Too sweet, baby. Yeah. So, uh, Chase, I'm going to finish off with one last one. How do you or do you see a ever a working relationship with AEW in New Japan? Uh, I mean, I think there was talks about it. I don't know too much or, you know, whatever. But, uh, you know, I think that it would be a good idea. So, um, you know, because... Some people don't watch New Japan and they watch AEW, and then some people uh, watch New Japan and don't watch AEW. Or did I say that twice? Whatever. <laughs> you know, back, but you know, one might not watch the other. So you know, it's always good to get new eyes on the products, and you know, with the talent they have, the talent New Japan has, I think it could really be something special. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, Chase. And uh, where can everybody find you on on Twitter, Instagram, and all that kind of stuff? Uh, Twitter and Instagram are both the same. It's at Real Chase Owens. Uh, you know, I just like you said earlier, started Twitch. So, uh, follow me, subscribe if you like what you see. Crown Jewel BC. Awesome. Have a good night, and uh, everybody have a good night. We'll be back Appreciate with it, uh, Fred Rosser shortly.